concerns about the spread of COVID-19 grow in North Carolina. The head of the Department of Veteran Affairs is paying a visit to the Carolinas. Yeah, just hours ago, he talked exclusively with our Tina Terry about actions they're now taking to prevent the spread inside local VA facilities and nursing homes. And Tina is live for us at the South Charlotte VA Clinic, where she spoke one on one with the secretary, Tina. Hey, uh, Secretary Robert Wilkie said he and his department are working really hard right now to protect the lives of our veterans who are impacted by COVID-19. Throughout the VA system nationwide, 13,000 veterans have been infected with this virus. And of course, he is concerned about recent state health data that shows a spike in COVID-19 hospitalization statewide. Today, he told me the department does not plan to return to full operations at VA facilities until the infection rate begins to level off in our communities. Now, he also said the department has sent in extra resources to help nursing homes like North Carolina Veterans Home in Salisbury, where some of our oldest veterans live. That particular facility has reported 47 cases of COVID-19 and 15 residents there have died. We have sent our teams in to uh, help manage infection control, uh, take best practices and give those to uh, the folks running the nursing homes. We've taken in patients uh, from those nursing homes into our VA facilities across the state uh, to care for them. And tonight at five, we're going to hear a lot more from him about experimental drugs and how they are being used at VA facilities throughout our area to help people infected with COVID-19 and the outcome that we've seen locally. Back to you.